Many of you will remember that I did a review previously on Netrunner. Well, it appears that 4.2 has just released, and I'm going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to Netrunner 4.2, and some of you guys will remember that I did a review on Netrunner previously, and I said that this was KDE done right. Well, let me tell you what, they still continue to deliver on this. Now, this distribution is using a finely tuned KDE 4 desktop environment, and it also has uh, some GNOME applications installed as well, so that you have a nice balance of software here. And I see that they've included a number of really nice features in this. I really like the way that this looks. I like the icon sets that they've chosen. And, uh, well, let's take a quick look and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Okay, there's a number of games for the kid and all of us. You've got arcade games, board games, card games, logic games, tactics, and strategy, you know, and uh, I was even, uh, I got curious and I had a look at this 3D chess game and I was like, ugh, that doesn't look 3D. But if you want the 3D settings, you're going to have to actually go into settings and select that if that is what you want under the appearance tab here and give it that 3D view. You know, my last computer could beat me at chess, but it was no match for me at kickboxing. <laughs> Alright, all teasing aside. <laughs> Couldn't resist, I had to throw a joke in there. Um, you also get a number of graphics tools, uh, namely you get the GIMP, which has uh, been de-weirdified, finally, and uh, that's a nice image editing program. You also get Carbon for your scalable vector graphics. Personally, I prefer Inkscape, but the thing is, there are always other options out there. So you can try the default loadout here, or you can uh, change and try programs that you prefer. This also comes with Krita, the painting and image editing software, which is really nice, too. It has a user-friendly interface, definitely worth your time. In internet, you have every tool that's, that you could possibly need for accessing and using the internet with the inclusion of an instant messenger client. Uh, you get an IRC client, a BitTorrent client. Uh, you also get a uh, wallet for uh, your uh, contacts. Uh, you get an FTP client, an internet messenger, uh, a mail client, Skype comes preloaded, and of course the wonderful Firefox web browser. I personally prefer this over Chromium or any of the other options that are available out there. And then of course this comes preloaded with all of the multimedia applications that you could possibly want as well. So if you want to share your desktop and YouTube and that sort of thing, Record My Desktop comes preloaded with this. You also get a number of music and uh, music video audio player softwares with the inclusion of Kadian Live, my personal favorite video editor. And you get the VLC media player which will play just about any uh, media file that you would want to view. So all in all, very, very nice. And by the way, if I didn't mention this, this is based on Kubuntu. So you have full access to the Ubuntu repositories for downloading uh, for downloading things. Okay, you also get the uh, LibreOffice uh, suite included with this, as well as uh, you get Wine for, tr for getting those Windows applications and games working under Linux. Now, uh, Wine, Clicks, Wine Tricks is also included to help you install those necessary dependencies to get some of those applications running. Now, notably though, though Wine is improving, it still doesn't run everything, so experimentation definitely is key here. Okay, and then of course you have a number of web applications that you can uh, use, your Dropbox, your Google Calendar, Contacts, Docs, Mail, Maps, um, and then of course there are um, web games you have access to, and then some suggested websites that you can go to as well, Facebook, Twitter, Jack and Joe, hmm, Jack and Joe, I never heard of that, that better not be some gay site, I've 
heard of Jack and Jill, but Jack and Joe? Ooh. <laughs> we are hunted in YouTube. <laughs> all right. And then, of course, all of your utilities to get the most out of the system are located right here, as well as your system settings. And your system and your uh, settings are all located right here. And all in all, uh, this is a wonderful system. It even includes VirtualBox, nice quick uh, launcher to that so that you can get, and so for those of you who absolutely have to have that certain Windows program that just won't run in Y, VirtualBox comes preloaded on this thing so that you can go ahead and load that into a virtual environment. Once again, Netrunner, you guys did a great job. Would I recommend this to beginners? Absolutely. Would I recommend this to people who are using legacy hardware? No. I recommend that you have a modern computer with at least a single core processor running at 2 gigahertz. Um, that's probably not the system requirements for this distribution, but that is what I am saying. Uh, as, as you know, me, myself, I, I think for a KDE desktop environment, you really need to have a faster processor and a little bit of memory to boot. All right, well, that's all there is on this one. It, I definitely recommend that you guys check this one out. Mm -hmm.